Hello, welcome. It's Jack here. So today I'm going to go over some uh, uh, calm automation of Word. So my thought is that we'll start right off by making a, a calm object using one of the built-in functions of our hotkey. So let's start by making a variable to hold set object and then calm object create and then we'll create a word at location so like so and most of these calm objects actually start the windows alt as hidden so let's set that property visibility property so if we set that to true it will be visible and that will give us a visible but kind of empty word window so let's put in a document as well so we have something to work with so using the all word object might be the best thing to call it uh, and then acting on the selection inside the you know, you know what we need to actually put in the document first document dot add that will actually create a document for us so and within that document we'll then take act on the selection like so and we'll make the font all like so so until now we have created a new word window we have made it visible we have added a document and we have said that the font should be bold. So to do more, let's put in some text. So old word, and we'll still use the selection. And then we'll use the method type text. And we'll type in uh, is it space and ending that like there so now we'll actually type in visit space that will be bold as we set that up in the higher line so perhaps we could make it into a hyperlink that might be useful idea so o word dot and then we'll act on stuff on the active document we need to access it this way to actually have access to the hyper it's a method We'll add a hyperlink there. So what will we add? We'll add we'll add what we have already put in. So we'll add the old word of selection. And we'll add range. The range is what we have already uh, where where the the current cursor is so and what we'll put in will be let's say op https so let's put in this app.com like so um, then we actually don't need to put in the next couple of uh, parameters could, but hey, and then we'll put in the actual text that we want to appear. So let's put in 
I'll put in my work site like so. Yeah, so that will actually add in that. So now, um, so now we have visit my website, and let's put in some more text. Uh, selection will type text. Uh, type one string here and learn how to work with like so how to work with yeah just to make sure we'll actually put in yeah just to make fun let's let's do something extra here my word selection like so we'll change it up make the font italic instead set that to true like so and then let's type out the rest of the sentence so old word so everything that will be written from now on will actually be italic. So let's selection dot again type text like so. A text which would be type could oh we'll actually type out and learn to work with our hot key. Yeah, that's yeah. Let's let's go with that without a hotkey. So and just to change it all back for us, if we actually wish to work with this word document afterwards, we could simply set the selection font bold. Uh, false so it will no longer be bold and just to complete it let's also remove the uh, retaliation of uh, whatever we are writing so like that and let's remove this as well setting it to false simply False is actually a built-in variable in other hotkey, so you could also use uh, zero or one instead. So false would be zero and true would be one. This is just and let's uh, let's put in um, punctuation. So let's say O word selection. Dot type text like so, and let's type in some dot there. Yeah, and then we could end it by actually putting in a new line. So selection again, and then we could type a paragraph. Like so, this will put in a new line. So we'll actually start on the line after our sentence up here. So we can also make sure and actually activate the word window. So we'll activate that. Like so. Then just end it with a return so the code don't continue to something below here. 
So let's try and see this in action. So I'll say, let's pick out a name for it. Let's say it's a word. Just demo. Yeah, let's let's go with that. It's also quite basic, so we could go with basic word com auto hotkey demo. That might be good. Uh, yeah, so save that and let's try and run it. Oh, and as you saw there, I might have missed. Uh, space or something at one point I see at least I see here now that there's a space missing but as we just saw it's making the text bold my website is a hyperlink and learn how to work with auto hotkey and auto hotkey is in italic and we started our next typing line on the next paragraph and if I actually type out something um, like this you can see it's uh, no longer either italic or bolded. So we share or like if you wish. Thank you for this time. Hope to see you next time. Bye.